22 car now going down a lap. That's Michael Haslam. Closing in now on the 61. Rock Jr. Look at the barrier that Ewan's made for himself. I mean, there's three cars in between him and second place. Second place being Dustin Ash still. Rock Jr. gives room. And it is clear sailing right now for Robert Ewing. Here at the bull ring. He's coming across the line. And that's seven ups to go. We might have a battle for second. I know Justin Johnson has a way to go, but you know what? Our second place guy, Dustin Nash, has a lot of battling with lap traffic to do. And the lap traffics are going crazy right now. <laughs> Look at the 42. 42 of Ronnie Holtz. He's still, I guess, trying to catch the leader. Get that one of his four laps back. Our second place car loses its left rear tire. Just comes right off. And that changes everything. The 22 car gets caught up in this one, but that's 11 of Dustin Ash. You see a little bit of a flame underneath. Hopefully it could get out of there. The 22 car also caught in this. Michael Haslam and the red flag comes out for the second time tonight. But you see Ash climbing out of the car. It appears he's all right. But oh boy, oh boy, what a change of events. With six laps to go. This happens. Tommy, it's, this just changed the whole game. Speechless. All right. Lap, or sit, five laps to go. Ewing versus Johnson. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The showdown. Oh, Resident Wiggy's having an issue. Huge problem. He pulls it high. We'll see if he can get it off the track or if he's able to keep it going. The 22 car. Where is the 22 car? Up by the Jordan. Wall. Oh, the 22 car just stopped. <laughs> we're not. We're not done. Four laps to go to finish this 200 lapper up, and it comes down to seven hundred, seven thousand, seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars and seventy-seven cents to win. Ewing gets a great restart, but Justin Johnson's gonna bring up the bumper. Johnson's right on the bumper of Ewing, he's gonna look to the inside. We have a race for the lead with three, four laps to go. Ewing lets him go, <laughs> Justin Johnson takes the lead. Jornitis now looking for it. He's jo score Jornitis a second. Wow, after working all the way up after contact with the 17 of Parker Jr., here comes the 90 car of Justin Johnson working all the way back up the pack to take the lead. What about Robert Ewan? He was dominating this thing. Flat dominating it. And now he's been passed by Danny Gay as a lap down. White fly comes out for the number 90 of Justin Johnson. Vision Airlines. Number 90 coming out from Toyota Speedway. Racing out on here. It's going to be Justin Johnson coming across out of turn four and now across the stripe. Your winner here at the Bull Ring in Vegas. So congratulations to him. It's wow, what a race! What a race. Tommy, we had four cars finish on the lead lap. It was Justin Johnson, Nick Joannidis, Robert Ewing, and <laughs> sorry, we had three cars finish on the lead lap. And then Danny Gay and the 11 of Darren Robertson, round out your top five. What a night here, the Fall Classic, two days of great racing at the Bull Ring. True that. We're gonna see what uh, Justin Johnson has to offer for us. Great to see that guy have a good run. And boy, did he, he never gave up on this one. I mean, he had to come all the way from the back after contact with the leader, or actually not the leader, but Parker Jr. And he made it back. Made it back and you know what? Did what he had to do. I think it's safe to say that determination got him this one. And I think he had definitely the fastest car out here. Yeah. Towards the end of the race when his right foot got really heavy. <laughs> it did. It did. Justin Johnson sharing the donuts with us. The fans that came on out here to the bowl ring. Fall classic out here. Open comp. It was a great show out here. 
And we're glad we were able to bring it to you. Low Budget TV reporting here. Tommy, let's sign it off. Thank you for watching. And for those of you that were here, you all know the boring is a place to be if you're in Las Vegas. Now, folks, I'd just like to have one last thing to say. We'd like to also thank Bob Gardner from Racing West. He gave us this, and look, we just tore this thing up. We tore this thing to the ground. We ran it to the ground. I'm surprised it didn't catch on fire. But you know what? <laughs> we got notes. And that's what we were basing all of our stuff off of. Homemade notes. Homemade notes. That's right, folks. So we do apologize if we got any names wrong. We got a couple throughout the weekend. But you know what? For the most part, it was a fantastic set of races. That's right. For everyone, thank you for watching. And see you later. Check out our winner. And that'll be us signing out. Waiting for Justin Johnson to come out now. This is the suspense part. I'm so excited. I'm very ready. Look at the Dice Man, by the way. Dice Man's awesome. That's right. The Pit Boss. Boss. Justin Johnson waiting for it. Hang on just a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. There he is, folks. Justin Johnson, you're a winner. In the number 90. That concludes Low Budget TV at the Boring 2009.